Hey all, Billum here. It's been a little bit since I last put up a video, and while I made a community post about it before Christmas, I know that not everybody sees those. So let me get you up to speed and update you all on what I plan to do with Fireside Gaming in 2024. First, the reason for the lack of videos. It's mostly PC troubles. My hard drive died just a few days before Christmas, and it really set me back having to get a new drive, do a fresh install of Windows, and losing some of my settings and things like that. I did manage to recover most of everything. The bad sectors in my M.2 drive only affected a few things, such as a couple of PSP backups that I can easily grab from the UMDs again. Another is that I did lose my Audacity settings, my Yeti settings, uh, my shortcut settings, a lot of the things that I use for editing that allow me to just quickly set things up how I want, and it makes editing go a lot faster for me. I don't have those anymore, or at least I've had to remake a lot of them, which was another big delay because anytime I looked into doing it, it just felt so defeating. Uh, it was hard to build up the gumption to do it. I'm, I'm sure that makes sense to some of you. But I am finally getting over that, and so I have been able to start working again, as I'm sure this video shows you. And the final delay that was keeping me from really getting to work on any of this stuff was the whole entire family getting sick after Christmas. And not just like we all got sick, we all suffered for a few days. No, it, it started with my wife, and it was a few days with my wife, and then my son caught it, and it was a few days with my son while my wife was still recovering, and then I caught it, and so then it was me, and then my son was still recovering, and it, it sucked. It sucked and it dragged it out for, geez, two weeks. It was way too long. But that, that put a, a definite uh, delay on my video work plans because uh, the intention was after Christmas I had time off until New Year's and I was going to use that time to like really like pump out some videos and you know hang out with friends and family and and, and build some model kits in my growing backlog that's uh that last one really needs some attention I've I've fallen really far behind but uh with, with all that said my first review of 2024 is going to be what my last review of 2023 was supposed to be Armored Core 2 I already noted this in the community post, but this is shaping up to be a bit longer than I first expected, so I won't say when exactly it's coming out. And on that same note, we have to talk about another major change for the upload schedule this year. These last couple of years, I've held pretty strong to uploading a video every two weeks. And while that's a pace I could keep in 2024, I don't really want to. If you are a longtime viewer of my channel, you might know that in my first year I did a video every week, and I switched to every other week to give myself some more time for, well, everything. Reviews, family, friends, I started DMing, I've been playing more online games with friends again, things like that. And a lot of that is what's affecting my decision to not stick to an every other week review schedule from now on. I do like having a social life, but I've also been trending a lot more toward longer reviews. Uh, just like how this Armored Core 2 one is turning out to be a lot longer than I expected. So with that in mind, I have found myself very much so in the last half of 2023 struggling to get my videos out as comfortably as I would like to. There have been a lot of times where I have been struggling hard to get a video out on that deadline time because uh, the video turns out to be longer than I wanted it to be, or I want to do little extra things during the video that uh, I at least think improve the quality and uh, that takes more time and everything. And I don't, I don't want to keep running into that. I, I want to be able to give the videos the time I think they deserve in editing. And I think switching to a free flow or non schedule for the channel is going to help with that. So there just won't be an upload schedule going forward. I'll put videos up when I can, and I hope to get at least one up every month. I feel like that's easily doable. That also means that videos won't always go up on Friday, just whenever I have them ready. And I think this will really help me, especially with some of the longer JRPG videos that I want to do, where I've never quite been able to like sit down and dedicate the time to making a long video like I did with Wild Arms, which was an hour. I don't know how often I'm actually going to do that in general, but sometimes I found myself really struggling on like the half an hour videos like Digimon World 3 or Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. So this would allow me to get more of those out as well and not have to worry or crunch myself so much on time. Now to be clear, that doesn't mean that there's always going to be 
long gaps between videos. One thing I've kind of forced myself into doing these last couple of years is majorly focusing on games with stories that I can cover in depth during my review. And while I love going over those stories, sometimes I just kind of want to talk about games without spending 10-15 to 15 minutes on the story every video. And that means I might slot in some of those shorter reviews in between longer videos to help keep the content coming at a decent rate. Or I might double up some reviews if they seem compatible, like what I did with Mobile Suit Gundam Journey to Jabro and Encounters in Space. That was a fun one for me, and I, I think it's a format I'd like to do again. I might also play around with some different forms of videos. I had this idea when I was working with Klonoa where I wanted to use footage of the game with the opening audio of Kingdom Hearts 1 playing over it, but I couldn't find the time to do that while still keeping to the old video schedule. So if an idea like that strikes me again, you might see it on the channel breaking up some of my reviews. And just to clear house a little bit for 2023, there were some games I didn't get around to beating or reviewing that I had intended to. Uh, the two of them that I can definitely think of are Eve of Extinction and Radiata Stories. In the case of the former, I had some trouble with capturing footage, I just I didn't have my settings quite right yet, especially capturing physical PS2 and how the lines looked and it didn't come through quite right, deinterlacing, all that jazz, and that affects some of my other footage as well, but not as much because Eve of Extinction was the first game I was really trying that with, and now I think I've got it down to where it's going to look a little better. Um, some of my older reviews where I just didn't catch the deinterlacing, like my Transformers one, look a little rough because of that, but yeah, I just... Uh, learning, learning this stuff, sorry, it's... Eh. Okay. Sorry. Radiata Stories. Mm, I just fell out of it. I just couldn't get into it. Um, and I was kind of afraid that would be the case. I've had a hard time in the past getting into Tri-Ace games, uh, like Star Ocean. And that held true this time as well, which sucks because I want to like them, but then I play them, and something about the gameplay loop and the combat and the characters and everything, I just always find myself losing interest in Tri-Ace games. Uh, same thing happened with it's not necessarily Tri-Ace, but, uh, oh geez, what is it? Eternal Sonata. I tried to get into Eternal Sonata a while back. Uh, last year, actually, it was. It wasn't going to be for a review or anything. It was just a video to, like, uh, not a video, a game to give me a break. And I just couldn't get into it. Uh, same thing happened with it. I dropped it partway through. I thought a lot about it. It was really nice, but at the end of the day, I just couldn't stick with it. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I will also say that on the video creation front, I am considering um, nixing different video formats that I'm just kind of unsure about keeping around, like Let's Plays, which I barely do, and I'm really bad about like consistently sticking with a series. And I've also thought about doing the same for retro game collecting videos. I'm willing to give these types of videos a shot again this year, but they just haven't been the type of video that I've personally enjoyed making. Maybe I'll still do collection videos, but just as shorts or something, I'm not sure yet. And I do intend to stick it with the uh, demo discourse let's play style ones whenever I see a demo that kind of piques my interest. I feel like, I feel like that's alright. I just don't know as if like the let's plays, like how I did Gundam Battle Chronicle one. Stuff like that. I just I don't I don't know if that's going to be something that sticks around because I'm just really bad at keeping up with them. So with all of that rambling, uh, I think it's time that we now get into what's happening at Fireside Gaming in 2024. Here is a quick look at some of the games I plan to review this year. Note that while all of these are retrospectives, I do have some indie insights planned as well that I simply don't have footage of yet. Yeah. <laughs> 
And there is your sneak peek and update on what to expect from Fireside Gaming this year. If you have any comments or feedback about my plans for 2024 and the general future of the channel, I would love to hear about them in the comments. I may finally be a YouTube partner, but that doesn't mean I've got this whole thing figured out, so I welcome any opinions or insight from my audience. And I'm sorry if my mic audio isn't quite up to standard, like I said, I lost my settings, I was trying to dial it in, I'm not sure if I got it exactly where I want it. But I'll, I'll figure that out in time, especially for the Armored Core 2 video. If you're still watching at this point, thank you, I appreciate you. Uh, this has been a trying time for Fireside Gaming, and I felt like I just finally had to get something out. Something to get the gears rolling again and get production moving. I felt like I was in a, a slump almost. So, so thank you, and until next time, take it easy.